I am very attractive and I know it. No, seriously, I am not saying that. It's actually physics. In fact, physics is saying that everything around me and everything else in the universe is attracted to me and me to them. You know what I'm saying? Gravity. Yes, it's the same attraction that makes everything fall down and keeps us from falling off Earth. Using Kepler's work, Newton figured that gravity between any two masses must be proportional directly to the masses themselves and inversely to the distance between them squared. And the constant is called the capital G, which has the units of Newton's meter square per kilogram square. So at this point, if you're complaining that you don't really feel very attractive, blame that G, because it is very, very small. The value of G is equal to 0.000000000000066 and some other numbers, or better stick to scientific notation. For example, two mashies one meter apart would only attract each other with a force of merely 0.003 milligrams, which is at least a thousand times lighter than this cotton, and is so small that it is easily overcome by friction, making gravitational attraction insignificant in our daily lives. So we are not very attractive? No, we are. We are just attracted to very heavy stuff. For example, I am attracting the moon right now with a force of about 0.2 milligrams, which is more than 500 times stronger than before. And I'm also attracting the sun with a force of 40 milligrams, which is even stronger. But you know what I'm attracting the most? I think you can guess it, our own beloved Earth. I am attracting it with a force of 65 million milligrams, or 65 kilograms, which is why it sticks to me, and we call this as our kilogram weight. But there is a much cooler definition of weight, which you can check out over here. But distance matters also. If I went twice farther away from Earth's center, gravity reduces to one-fourth, making my weight about 16 kilograms. And if I go thrice farther, it would be nine times smaller, which makes it close to just 7 kilograms. So gravity dies out drastically and we call this the inverse square law. This law is pretty cool. For one, because of this, it is actually possible to escape gravity, which I discussed here. But more importantly, if we had 1 over r or even 1 over r cube relation, you and I wouldn't exist, which I talk about over here. So we are incredibly lucky to have this inverse square law? No. In fact, it will be pretty obvious to you when you check this out. Gravity may be the weakest of the four fundamental forces, but it dominates at an astronomical scale. It is the sole reason why all planets and stars are spherical in shape and keeps galaxies together. But to give you something more for your money, <laughs> Einstein said that gravity is not a force. Hear me out. Suppose you have two boats starting out on the equator with a big gap, and they had to be moving along the longitude in one direction only, starting out parallel to each other. They would end up meeting up at the poles. That happens due to the curvature of the Earth. But from their perspective, if they considered Earth to be flat, they would be wondering why they didn't run along the parallel dotted lines, but ended up meeting at the pole. It's as if there was a mysterious force driving them towards the pole. Gravity is similar. We think of it as a force because we think the universe is flat. But masses tend to curve the space, and so these apples are not really being attracted towards the Earth's center, but they are just following the curvature of the space. But you could argue saying the boats wouldn't have met up if they were stationary or if they were moving in some other direction. So if I keep these apples here, they should be still on the curved space. This is where it gets a little tricky. You see, it's not the space alone that is curved, it's the space-time. Einstein says that space and time are married to each other, which is the essence of relativity. So you may think that the apples are rest in space, but they are certainly moving in time. And we know just one way to move in time, that is forward. So gravity is not a force. So I'm not very attractive. Bummer.